Welcome back everybody, back again, do a quick review, this time a little something different. I am actually not at my bar at home, I am in beautiful West by God, Virginia, um, just hanging out here in South Ridge. I was down in Boone County this morning, um, in Huntington this afternoon, a little bit of Ashland, Kentucky for a little while, the weather's been pretty shitty, so I made my way back up to South Ridge which is just south of Charleston, and I figured I'd do a quick dip review. I got the Appalachian Mountains in the background, not sure if you can see them or not, but it is, it's a beautiful view. It is a nice day. It's a little cool. We got some showers here and there, which made it, making it kind of shitty, but we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, what better dip to review in West Virginia than Copenhagen? Southern Blend. Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. The lighting is not so great because of the um, the overcast weather. And my camera is really, you know, a little on the uh, frugal side. But we're going to do this anyway. So, Copenhagen Long Cut Southern Blend. Let, let's get that cracked up. We got the overall appearance of the tin nice little yellow sunset representing um let's see maybe uh maybe a southwestern sunset maybe like a texas sunset or something like that so we're a little ways off from there but we're gonna do it anyway and i am cracking a uh just started cracking a brand new tin i picked up i always kind of jump ahead of myself on that so let's get that going Busy day today. Okay, let's see. Overall aroma, definitely top shelf Copenhagen tobacco. Um, got a little sweetness going on. It is nice and moist, a little spongy. Uh, as far as the cut goes, looks like it's a little bit of a finer long cut once again. Um, maybe not as long as the straight. Copenhagen straight, but not as fine as maybe a natural or Copenhagen natty. So let's give it a couple. A little loose. That's good. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, is that a little pinch? Please feel free to pack a bomb with me. Again, been dipping up front lately. Well, we're going to keep that going. And of course, a great natural flavor. The Southern Blend, it's been a, it was out in 2012. Uh, and it did very well in the production stage in some of the southern states. Uh, it's been now, obviously two years since and it's been it's definitely made its way to a lot of states a lot of people are loving it I like it as far as the flavor it's comfortable um, it's a nice you get a nice pinch on it there's a hint of sweetness now when I say sweetness I'm not talking about like a straight sweetness that's definitely subtle and as far as the flavor goes you know, I want to say it's almost like um, there's like a fruit flavor in there, but not a not a fruit like a skull fruit flavor. Maybe like a hint of a, a peach or um, like a, like um, I don't know, uh, like a peach tea. Okay, like maybe a sweet peach tea. So, but I'm um, I'm enjoying it. I like it. I've had it before uh, and I've enjoyed it. I know a lot of people, uh, like I said, love it. And it's a thumbs up. It's a definitely thumbs up. Especially the fact that I'm dipping it in West Virginia. Wild and wonderful. Great people. Great land. It's a great experience here. And uh, that's my recommendation. So come down to West Virginia and get yourself some Copenhagen Long Cut Southern Blend. Give it a shot. It's good. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And uh, we will see you back home we get another debt review going thanks again